Hello, everybody. My name is Alex Nudel with Revenue Well, and I have my good friend Andre Chardin from Eaglesoft Field Guide Live, squeezing the juice, getting ready. We're so pumped up. Hello, Andre. Hey, buddy. Haven't seen you in a long time. Good to see you. You see me on Facebook daily. I post four to five times. This is true. This is true. This is so only you can see what's going on with me. <laughs> I am so glad to have you on today as an Eaglesoft expert doing your stuff because we have an announcement to make to the world about new medical history in forms that were updated today. All right, should I do a drum roll? Yes, uh, today, live. <laughs> so that's kind of cool. But before we jump into this, I need to get some information from you because I have it written down on the piece of paper, which is I call my computer. So okay. before we jump into how to build custom medical forms, uh, we want to talk about the event that we're going to have in Chicago, the mega, mega, mega event. The big has, one. The big one. And even though it's the second annual, it will be the biggest one of all. Oh, yeah. 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 So it, we got to get everybody, everybody in the Facebook group, everybody who owns Eaglesoft to Chicago. Uh, September 27th uh, is the big day. And, you know, it is going to be awesome. Uh, we're we're planning for a great day of learning for Friday. We're going to plan for some fun mixed with learning on yeah. Thursday night, yeah. and then we're planning for something big, fun mixed with learning on Saturday morning. So it's going to be three days of EagleSoft get together, field guide members all learning to all learning how to get more juice out of the, out of the software, which I am extremely excited about. You know. We look forward in bringing our people together to learn more in EagleSoft because I think that we're just scratching the tip. If everybody uses EagleSoft correctly, like I use my brains, less than 10%. And That's that it. is my fear. So September 27th, you said, Andre? September 27th, it's a Friday. It's a Friday, and we're going to release all this stuff. Um, we have limited seating. Yeah. Yeah, limited seating and the, the tickets are selling pretty fast. I mean, they were we had reserved seating before I even opened up the sale. So it, they, you know, if you want to get in, you better get in soon. Why Chicago? Why Chicago? Chicago's just awesome in the summer. Well, it's just going to be in September, so it's going to be nice and cool. I'm yeah. telling you, yeah. Because we, you and I were going to do it in June. That's why you're thinking summer. Yeah, uh, yeah, you're right. You're right. But Does that's it? kind of cool. So please join us on that. And so Andre. Please yes. help Revenue Well customers out in understanding because we're just released the new custom forms for medical history. And so we are going to need our customers to build out a form inside EagleSoft and Revenue Well is going to be able to replicate it so they can use it and merge. It's all super excited stuff. Andre, can you please share your screen with us and show us how to get these forms? Yeah, let me open up my Eaglesoft. Can you see that, Alex? Uh, yes, I can. Perfect. So one of the things I always tell people to do is, first of all, you know, like old school, print the form out. And I want you to redline what you don't like. And then, you know, make a list of the things you do want to add to a custom medical history form. And I'm going to go right from list, medical history form. And I'm going to open up the standard Eaglesoft medical history form. And I'm going to say edit. And it's going to tell me that I can only make this, a copy of this to go forward. So that's what I'm going to do. And I always start from the original EagleSoft form, and then I edit this form. And that's the easiest way to do it. First thing first, give it a new name. So we're going to call this our Revenue Well form, just so that we can play with this today. And then anytime you can eliminate something, do so. So this disclaimer, nobody's going to read it. Plus there's a disclaimer at the bottom of the form. So let's get rid of that. And then we're going to start to modify some of these questions. So these first three questions, are you under physician's care? Have you been hospitalized recently? And do you have a head and neck injury? So I'm going to do this. I'm going to say, are you currently being treated? All right, excuse my spelling by a physician. All right, and that would eliminate a lot of people just putting down, you know, their doctor's name if they're not actually seeking care. So little questions like that. And then have you been hospitalized, comma, had a 
head, neck, injury. All right, so you, you got the idea. So, and then I can eliminate this question. All right, and then this is a great question, but you don't give any, get any space. So I'm gonna take this question, and instead of leaving it just with a yes or no and a little space to write in, down here allows me to add a comment. So I'm gonna add a comment, and I'm gonna move that comment up. All right, to the space where it says, and I'm gonna put that question as a comment, but in the settings, you see here it says allow for editing. I'm not gonna add, I'm not gonna allow that for edit, but, and I'm gonna get rid of this one. Now, here's the magic. I'm gonna actually add another comment, move this up, and this is a question all, everybody always asks is, how come I can't get more space? Now let's show you. I'm gonna allow for edit, and now watch this. I'm going to preview this form. Hopefully you got you can see this. Look at that big space right there to put your meds in. So I went from having just, you know, like this, yes, and then this little line to now having this big space here where we can actually add more information. So as you go through here, you can actually customize this form. The FinFin -fin and Redux, I mean, if you want to keep that in there, I mean, nobody's taken FinFin -fin and Redux since the 70s. So I mean, typically I get rid of that or I'll move it down to my yes or no questions. And then we do want this Fosamex uh, and all the bisphosphonates. That's great. I get rid of the special diet because everybody's, you know, gluten-free or, you know, can't have dairy. So I get rid of that. And this tobacco question, I also move to the bottom. So get rid of that. So now you can see I've gotten this really cleaned up and tight and fast. So now we can add some of the questions that are coming up now. Do, you know, do you snore? Um, are you having issues with uh, being sleepy when you wake up in the morning? Do you have clicking, you know, if we're looking at TMJ issues? Um, what do you think of your smile from A to F? Questions that I would use in my practice management lectures. So now we can add some questions because we've eliminated a bunch of things that we typically don't use. And, you know, even right under the physician, maybe uh, the physician's you know, name and phone number if you want. So that's the kind of thing that we can do to customize this form. So now once it's completed, we'll be able to utilize Revenue Wealth Forms on an iPad and fill this form out. And then the other things we could do is down the bottom, which are the typical issues. There's a lot of things down here that, you, you know, just are either redundant or things that, that you really don't need. I mean, the, the, the one that everybody always wants to get rid of first is uh, freak, uh, frequent diarrhea. So let's get rid of those things. Uh, all you have to do is just click the X and it'll actually get rid of it. Uh, but I do things like hepatitis A, B, or C, and then I can get rid of this B or C over here. And now I could just have a hepatitis line. So there is an entire how to uh, update this form uh, in the EagleSoft field guide, literally a step by step by step and shows how I would uh, create a form. And what you can do is you can create this form, preview it like you just saw us do. And then what I tell everybody to do is take this form, hand it out to everybody in the office and let them fill it out because they're gonna be able to see where there's some nuances that need to be fixed. As an example, one of the things that always goes wrong is, you know, this, um, there, there's some questions like, um, do you take a controlled substance? Well, that's there, but also drug abuse is down here in the bottom too. So maybe we need to clarify that a little bit differently. So lots of things you can do, but let everybody in the office fill it out, work on it, and then maybe you can figure out if there's some ways to make it better, easier. Um, I'll give a couple that I, I know are a, a big issue. Let me close out of this. Um, they have, the, from this right out of the box, they have, uh, where is it? Arthritis, right here, arthritis mixed with gout. Typically, I'll, I'll take gout, move that to swelling of limbs, and take rheumatism and put that with arthritis. Okay. Yep. So little Thank things like that to clean up the list. Yep. Make it more logical, make it work better, make it easier, faster. And now there's things that we can do like, uh, let's see, hepatitis. And notice how there's a, the hepatitis alert here. Mm -hmm. Now we can actually go in and find hepatitis in our alerts, because this is gonna pop up as an alert. So here's hepatitis. And if I edit that, now I can actually have the hepatitis ribbon that actually shows up in my clinical screen or if it was something that was more important, I could have it actually show up on the appointment screen. 
Oh, this so, is amazing. Yeah. So now we can actually have those things show up. As soon as somebody checks off on their iPad, they checked off that they have hepatitis. We save that into, you know, we, it, it sinks into Eaglesoft. And now ChairSide, and I'll show you what that looks like. ChairSide, the patient's going to have that hepatitis ribbon show up in the operatory. So I'm going to save this. Go over here to the operatory. And I'm just going to seat a patient. I'm just going to grab anybody who I know that's in here. These aren't real people, so don't worry about HIPAA, guys. <laughs> and right next to my chair, typically we have a red cross, but look over there. So I can tell a lot about this patient, medical information about the patient, because it would show up right here next to the chair. Nice. Based on those, uh, you know, on my medical history form alerts that we just created. So well, that's going to be perfect for everybody. Oh, yeah. And again, now we don't have to go through the process of adding alerts, you know, these things that are going on. We can automatically have an alert that pops up if they're on birth control pills or if they're, you know, if they've taken Fosamax or bisphos you know, any of the bisphosphonates, we can actually have a bisphosphonate warning that shows up. And I think I have mine connected to osteoporosis. And see, there's my bisphosphonate warning that shows up if somebody is taking a bisphosphonate. That's great. Yeah. So we have to have a, like a separate, a whole big deal on this, Andre. Oh, I agree. I well, agree. And, and a lot of it depends on the office and how they want to use the software if they're doing things like sleep apnea studies. Squeezing the juice. Oh, so yeah. I thank you very much for showing us how to create a custom medical history form. Sure. And when I'm going to give you the video, can you please give me a link so people can join your group so they will be able to ask you questions like this, and maybe we can do some webinars on how to do that for Revenue Well customers. Be happy for to. Anybody, anybody that has Eagle Soft, they love it. So I thank you very much, Andre. My pleasure.